Over the last few events and at WWDC, Apple has been name dropping Swift Playgrounds, saying that you can now code and submit apps to the App Store directly from the iPad. Now, I'm not a coder and the coding I've had to do has produced many tiers, but for some reason, I keep coming back to this idea of coding on the iPad. Maybe it's because there's always angry comments on my videos about them not being able to code on the iPad, or because I would love the idea of having my own app one day in the App Store, but anytime it's mentioned in these press releases or events, it just sticks with me for some reason. There's not very much out there about coding on the iPad, and most of the tech YouTubers I watch just film and post their reactions to these events, and then later on a video going on about the specs of whatever new device it is, whether it's a new Mac or a new iPad, and maybe I just haven't found the community of iPad coders yet since I'm not a coder, but I wanted to try. So we're going to code on the iPad. Now, this is purely for fun and to learn a new skill. The coding I have done is a bit of CSS and JavaScript, just enough to understand the language if I wanna make custom changes to my website that isn't native in the Squarespace Builder, or if I wanna break the rules of the Squarespace design a bit. And then MATLAB, which I used in college for quantum computing and chemistry. Entirely different and requires differential equations, so yeah. Swift seems like it's going to be a lot more fun in comparison. Swift is the coding language designed by Apple and is mainly used by native iOS and macOS. Apps like LinkedIn and Lyft are examples that were written in Swift. Swift is supposedly very easy to learn since it was built to be efficient and easy to use. It's simple and expressive and folks with no prior experience with coding have an easy time learning Swift, which sounds perfect for me because I have horror stories of spending hours trying to code for my chemistry classes, waiting hours for it to actually run the code, and then getting littered with errors. And then spend like hours during office hours trying to figure out how to get the code to work. Now, you're probably wondering why the heck I'm trying to learn to code, and a lot of it is to show the cool stuff that you're able to do on iPad. But another more selfish part of it is to see if I'm capable, if it's fun, if it's a new skill that I wanted to try, and maybe it will lead to an app. Who knows? Okay, so first I downloaded Swift Playgrounds from the App Store. And what's cool about this is that there are actually multiple playgrounds. These kind of serve as modules, so you can pick a module and get started. And there's even more that you can download. Now I know a lot of the modules kind of look kiddish or elementary, but that's the best kind of learning. If a kid can learn it, so can you. It's the same with learning other languages like Spanish or German, you know, and I always try to keep that in mind for my tutorials. So if young folks, really young folks can follow along, everyone should be able to too. So obviously, since I'm new to Swift, I'm going through the get started with code and learn to code modules. So I can build up those foundations before diving into more intermediate modules, which discuss things like gestures, building out the app, and so on. What I like about learning in Swift Playgrounds is that the app walks you through why the language is written the way it is and what that means in like everyday terms shows you an example and then says, hey, it's your turn, do this. You'll have your shot at experimenting with a new technique or skill it's trying to teach you, and then you'll be able to see the solution or it moves you to a step that builds on the last. They also have highlighted sections where you can see what a lot of the language means if you ever forget while you're moving forward. A few other things I've downloaded to add to my experience while learning to code in Swift is a mock-up app. This app allows me to easily sketch out my ideas for an app. I can choose from a number of different device models, and then they even have elements that I can add as well. I'm an incredibly visual person, so I love that someone was thoughtful enough to create a sketch type app like this one. Even if I'm still learning the technical aspects of coding, the design, user interface of apps is super important. 
I know speaking personally, I'm more likely to delete an app if it's ugly, even if it's incredibly functional, than I am an app that is beautifully designed but a bit buggy or has less features. Simple is better to me anyway. And lastly, another app that I downloaded on my iPad is called Unwrap Swift, which is another learning tool for Swift coding. It has short lessons teaching Swift and then it sums up a nice review at the end with some exercises and then a daily challenge. I like how Swift Playgrounds and Unwrap Swift have a gaming slash challenge aspect to them because it's more interactive and doesn't feel so boring learning something like coding. Plus it makes me want to beat it and by beating it, I learn a really useful skill in iOS development, which is rapidly growing. I'm aware that this entire video probably sounds incredibly geeky, but I'm honestly amazed at how impressive the iPad is and part of that is trying out new things, learning new skills with it. I build digital planners primarily for iPads from my iPad and there's huge power in that. Building iPad apps from the iPad is just awesome stuff. I love that. If you code or want to start learning code from the iPad, I want to know down in the comments. Maybe you can share with me and everyone else what apps or exercises you're using to learn iOS development. If there are any other unique skills you would love to see demonstrated on the iPad, feel free to drop that down in the comments too. I want to put the iPad to test even more. As always, if you enjoyed watching and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.